welcome to Chile! This is my 26th country. This is our 14th country together. And it's Jared's 21st country. Yesterday, we landed at the Santiago airport around six o'clock in the morning, and we couldn't check into our Airbnb until noon. So before we even left the airport, we stopped at Duncan. We stopped at Duncan because we're from the East Coast and Duncan thrives on the East Coast. And it was six o'clock in the morning and we hadn't had any coffee and we just wanted it. So we just sent it, we just did it. It was the best $8 coffees we've ever gotten. <laughs> so after we got our baggage, went to Duncan and then uh, left the airport, we got an Uber to a little coffee shop that was just a few minutes away from our Airbnb because we still had about four hours to kill before we were able to check in. And at this point, we're running on about three hours of sleep in the last like two nights. So we were ready to just sit somewhere for a while and get some breakfast and didn't really care about, you know, where that was. So we got an Uber for more than I would have liked to pay, but I wasn't ready to battle the public transport system just yet. I was feeling a little bit too exhausted to do that. So we got an Uber to coffee shop until <laughs> eventually we checked into our Airbnb, took a three hour nap. After we woke up from our nap, we went and wandered around the, the city a little bit and got some dinner and then came back and slept for about 11 hours, so. And it felt so good to be mm -hmm. laying in a bed and not in an airplane seat and laying horizontal, not trying to sleep vertical. It was great. So now we are in Santiago for day two and we're gonna head out in the city. We're going to Parque O'Higgins and then we're going to Santa Lucia Hill and then we're gonna watch the sunset from a beautiful overlook in the city and just enjoy our day in Santiago. So the streets of Santiago this morning are way less busy than they were yesterday. And I think the city just hasn't woken up yet. Park. We're just taking a little snack break before we keep walking around. We're at Parque O'Higgins, and if you're wondering, like I was, why it has such an Irish sounding name, it is named after one of uh, Chile's founding fathers. He fought to free Chile from the Spanish. Um, he was both Spanish and Irish, so that's why he has such a Irish sounding name. There's a lot to see here at Parque O'Higgins. There is Fantasylandia, which is a big amusement park. There is a big concert hall right next to that where they have public concerts and things like that. There is a lot of walking trails and places to bring your dog and things like that. There's park benches like this and uh, picnic tables where you can come and just have like a little picnic if you want. There is a skate park. There is a roller rink. Um, there's a lot to do and see here at the park if you're interested in just kind of spending a day walking around, not necessarily wanting to see, you know, the big tourist things, um, this is a good place to go. We were just about to film something talking about how dog friendly the city is and how there seems to be a lot of dogs both owned and unowned. And this little guy walked up, well, this big guy. My impression of the city so far is that there are tons of dogs, like Jared said, but it's not a tourist vibe. I think Santiago is just a big city because it's the capital of Chile, but I'm not really sensing like a touristy vibe. We haven't seen any tourist shops selling like souvenirs. There hasn't been anybody who's approached us trying to get us to come do their activity or their excursion. That's our experience so far. We've only spent a day and a half in the city 
and we haven't gone to any tourist spots yet. We're gonna do that after lunch. So maybe we'll feel that a little bit more later. They also have these cute little paddle boats. The sign says that it is 8,000 Chilean pesos for two people for 20 minutes, which is about eight to nine dollars in US dollars. Um, so if we lived here long term, I could totally see this being a place we would come frequently. <laughs> we just left the park to go use the bathroom and get some ice cream. And I'm laughing because Lauren is currently videoing me with her entire hand in a bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> He's not lying. Now we're going to walk back and go back to our apartment, get some lunch, and then head out again to Plaza de Armas, which is uh, kind of the main plaza of the city. We're back at our apartment, our Airbnb. We're gonna reheat some leftovers from yesterday for lunch. There's no AC in our apartment, so we got that fan blowing full, full blast. It's, uh, what is it, 80 something degrees? Pretty humid, but not too bad. We finished lunch and we're getting ready to head back out again. We're going to Plaza de Armas uh, to do some shopping and walking around and stuff like that. And then we're going to Santa Lucia to watch the sunset because it is on a little hill and we get a good view of the city and, and the surrounding area. suggested to us to find some contacts for myself because there were some issues ordering them right before we left so we're gonna go see if we can find some contacts uh, in the prescription and the brand that I need. One store down, no luck on contacts like this. No luck on finding any contact messages. Unfortunately, all of the places that we went into, they would have to ship them to us, which one place said it would take up to three days, and we leave in two days. So um, we're gonna wait and try to find some in Buenos Aires when we're there a little bit longer. We're gonna go get some empanadas for dinner. thousand Chilean pesos total which is a little more than six US dollars and they look really good. When the server brought these to us he said something in very rapid Spanish and then walked away so we'll never know. We'll never know what he was trying to tell us about them. We each got a chicken empanada with gouda cheese in it and they brought us some salsa which I believe is just like their version of salsa verde and then some garlic that's been put into this paste cream-like thing. And it tastes pretty good. We're here at Santa Lucia at sunset and it is beautiful. It is just a nice evening. It's a good temperature out. It's getting a little bit cooler as the sun goes down. And we're just enjoying our time with the views of all of Santiago pretty much from this little hill in the middle. to the top but it's a little bit further beautiful sunset so far
we flew the drone and it was beautiful like mm -hmm. the sun was setting and so behind us where it's still setting uh just the silhouette of the mountains were so pretty mm -hmm. and then on the other side of us it was shining onto the mountains and part of them were already below the sunlight and part of it was already above and it was so beautiful it was purple and orange and you can see all the layers behind it and i'm like these are the andes like ah! it was awesome and as we started to get ready to land the drone like a security lady came up and she started like kind of hovering around us and i don't know if she knew we were flying a drone but i didn't really want to find out whether we were allowed to be flying a drone or not so we kind of just like walked to a different area where she wasn't and then landed it but she was definitely just kind of standing there waiting yeah. for us to do something and i was like maybe we should go yeah go land this puppy somewhere else so, so we came over to this small area <laughs> <laughs> Which is not advised when you're flying a drone, you're supposed to be in a big open space. Mm -hmm. But we came over here and we had to find uh, ourselves on the, the video of the drone because our home point on the drone was different than we were trying to land it. So, and we were running out of battery, but it's okay. It was a little tricky, but we did it. <laughs> Thanks so much guys for watching. We're going to head back to our apartment for the night. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.